What's up and welcome to Real Talk. My name is Jason Flood and as you've seen in my last interview, I interviewed George who is also about to drop his latest music video, so check that out. But I got the chance to speak to Fiona Garvey recently, another musician I really really like and has done a few bits herself. Fiona has performed on stages like the House of Blues in Chicago, all the way to the Grand Social in Dublin just recently. She has also released her debut album titled Crooked. And she's going to talk about all that and more in my interview with Fee. Check it out. So, me and Fee did an interview before. Uh, we may be using it another time maybe, but it's not appropriate because Fee has some news. And the news is that she has released her debut album. Yes, I have. So Yay. Fee, talk to us about the album. We know it's crooked. Yeah. And we know that, how many tracks are there? Four There's tracks four on tracks on it, yeah. So tell us like, uh, what, are, what was the inspiration behind these tracks? Like you wrote them yourself? I did, yeah. So I guess it's kind of a funny one because two of the songs on the album I'd wrote, written ages ago, like same heartbeat, the last song, I think I wrote when I was in fifth year. In fifth year? Yeah, in so, secondary school. And so. what was the inspiration behind it? Was there any reason? Well, that song in particular, it's very much kind of about society and it's not as pretentious as this is gonna sound. There's no, there's no Taylor Swift like <laughs> stuff going on here where Fee no. has a breakup and then she like writes music about it. Well, <laughs> oh, which one? Which one are we talking about? Well, I suppose you could kind of say that Crooked is a little bit like that. Oh, really? Well, it, it wasn't about a relationship breakup, but it was about a breakup. Right, well, is well, all well. I'll say. All oh, right, right. <laughs> In general, but um, you know, so same heartbeat I'd written a long time previous, and then. Um, Kiss on the Cheek, I'd also, I wrote, I think, my first year of college, and it's more upbeat, like, if you like someone. The album isn't the only thing. Uh, you've also performed recently at the Grand Social. So yeah. tell me about that gig. What was that like? Well, essentially, so I was really excited. Well, when I got back from Chicago, um, which is where I decided I was going to do the EP once I got and home. And where you performed at the House of Blues. Yes, indeed. Uh, I actually performed jealous. Crooked there, and then I was like, I think I'm ready now to record some songs and um, so when I got back I spent kind of well I'm in my final year of college yeah so between doing that um, and way too many things I recorded the EP right. and then coming up to Christmas I was like right I really want to do a big gig I hadn't I've been I've done a few small gigs since I've been back but I hadn't done a really big one since the summer and I was like once the EP is out I want to like do a proper big event with like a band behind me and everything and just Get to sing Walling. all my own songs, pretty much, basically, and just see how it goes. Um, we had JJ Bloom, he's a really cool up and coming artist as well. And um, he performed a kind of funky sort of set. Yeah. And when, he actually he performed with a band, but he performed just with himself and the keyboard on the night, and he was Bob. Are you gonna just write the momentum that you have now from Crooked, or are you already mm -hmm. getting into uh, writing new music, or do you have music you've already written? Because fifth year is a long time. <laughs> yeah. So, so essentially, the kind of plan is to continue promoting that EP, right. and then I also have a music video coming out for Ooh. one of the songs for Vendetta. It's gonna be coming out at the beginning of March. You can also find Crooked on Spotify, tidal, iTunes, Apple Music, any pretty much all everywhere. Of the pretty much platform. everywhere. Uh, and then I was actually just back in the studio last week, recorded a new song that I wrote in January. <laughs> right, right. Um, basically, I hadn't planned to be back recording so soon, but at the Grand Social gig, um, afterwards I was talking to people, and this new song that I kind of at the very last minute decided to perform on the night, and um, people seemed to really like it. Just seemed to, I think you sometimes find because you don't really know when you're writing your own song what's going to connect course, to people or what's not. You're just like. I'm going to write a song today, but... Um, Comes out naturally, yeah, organically. Yeah. yeah, but this song seemed to have just... Like, so many people said it to me, so I, I kind of took it as a sign. I was like, right, let's go and record this now. So that coming up to summer, I have something to release as well. So with the, so just as you, a single. Can you give us, like, a little hint about it? Like, um, what is this one about? Can you give us a name? Can you give us a feeling, something? Well, the song is called Waterfalls. Waterfalls, right. Yeah. Kind of like TLC waterfalls. <laughs> um, you have no idea TLC waterfalls. No, I was like, I don't know what you even. Don't talking. go chasing on just. Oh right. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not like that. It's been really weird the last few gigs I've played, hearing people kind of singing my songs back yeah. to me. So weird. Like really nice. It's really 
I will hear it for years to come, like you're really Hopefully. putting everything into it. <laughs> That's the plan, I kind of think, this is, if this is the time I'm going to push for it, I may as well give it a bit of welly. Well, guys, <laughs> give it a big welly song. You're going to have to follow Fee to see how she gives it welly, <laughs> as she says. <laughs> I don't know why I've turned. But Fiona, it was great. It was great catching up with you. Yeah. Like it always is great catching up with you. Oh, and um, you too. I wish you all the success with everything yeah. you're doing. I Thank really you. liked Crooked. Um, I was saying to Fiona is that sometimes when you're a presenter um, or when you're creating content, it's a lot about bullshit where you have to tell <laughs> the person that you like what they're doing when you may not like what they're doing but you are a rare exception i actually like what you're doing <laughs> so, so nice to hear thank congratulations. you congratulations <laughs> so it was great having you and that's a wrap so that was my interview with fee which was really interesting i really like talking to her and i got to learn quite a few things about what she is doing in the future so in march fee is going to drop her music video for her song vendetta but she is also working on a new song called Waterfalls, which she will drop sometime in the summer. So to keep an eye out on this talented artist, make sure to follow her social media accounts all left in the description below. From all of us here in the Real Media Content Channel, thanks for joining us.